We're at the top of uh, Alder Canyon, or near the top of Alder Canyon, just before the stairs that go up to the Turtle Pond. Um, and this is a, a drainage way, and we have one of the plants here that appreciates that uh, extra moisture. This is Amorpha fruticosa, also known as Western False Indigo. Um, it's a very delicate looking plant, and while it can be drought tolerant, it definitely does better uh, with some moisture. Um, in its native, native habitats, you'll usually find it uh, in uh, canyon bottoms and near uh, creeks and streams. It, it does prefer to have some moisture uh, year-round that it will look its best that way. Um, this is a winter deciduous plant. Uh, this one in particular did not really start leaping out until, uh, until sometime in April, well into spring. Um, and, but as you can see, once it leaves out, it gets these, uh, just a multitude of these spikes of uh, purple flowers. The, the, uh, the flower spikes have uh, probably at least a couple dozen, a few dozen uh, purple flowers. Each flower is just a single purple petal wrapped around a number of, uh, of yellow stamens. And that yellow and purple is really a, a pretty contrast. This is a plant that should be uh, really appreciated from up close. Um, the, uh, another interesting thing about this plant is it is the uh, host plant, the larval food source for the southern dog face butterfly and also likely the dog face butterfly, which is the California state butterfly and uh, as well as the gray hair streak and a number of other uh, smaller butterflies and moths. Um, it's uh, again kind of a delicate looking plant with compound leaves with uh, just numerous uh, uh, leaflets, very soft looking and something that does look good in uh, sort of a riparian or woodland uh, garden.